Alright guys, so in this video I will be show you guys how you can fix 100% CPU usage in Windows 10 and in Windows 11. So let's start. Alright, so first of all go ahead and open up your task manager by clicking Control Shift plus Escape and then you need to go to the startup tab and now you can right click on the application and you can click on disable and in that way you can simply disable the unnecessary startup programs. So this can be a reason why your CPU is using 100%. So go ahead and see if this fixed the problem. Alright, so if the first tab did not work for you, go ahead and try this one. So go ahead and search for choose a power plan in your search panel and open that up. And after that, go ahead and select high performance. And if you did not see high performance right here, go ahead and click on show additional plans and select high performance as your power plan. So still, if you did not see high performance, go ahead and click on create a power plan in your left hand side. And select high performance and also you can name your plan click on next and you will be done all right so as the third step go ahead and search for services in your search panel and open that up and after that you need to look for background intelligent transfer service so you need to double click on that and go ahead and change the startup type disabled so at default it should be at automatic so go ahead and select disabled click on apply and click ok Alright, so still if you did not manage to fix the 100% CPU usage, go ahead and try this fix and this should work for you. So what you guys want to do is you want to search for device manager and go ahead and open that up. So after you open up your device manager, you need to open up the system devices right here. So you need to look for high precision event timer, you need to right click on that and you need to click on disable device. So now this should surely fix the 100% CPU usage. Go ahead and click on yes and restart your computer to apply the changes. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. So if you managed to fix the 100% CPU usage, go ahead and drop a comment down below so other people can get help from this video. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace.